started about 18 years ago. I started do it, learning first on the theoretical side and then I had a practical coach. And my practical coach still taught me the hard way, not with all the luxuries that we have today. Um, and I've grown and up to a point where I can now, I'm a qualified trainer, I can train drivers and I enjoy the open road. Having that weight behind you, you know, you're supplying your citizens with products, but you need to be very safety conscious because that load behind you pushes your vehicle. And if you're not conscious of the safety aspects of that issue, it can cause havoc on the road, it can cost lives. Go for it. We are women. We can do this. Make sure you get the correct training, go for your license, get a proper dra driver training school, go for all the classes you can and have confidence in yourself. Because as a woman, you can do this as well. <laughs> The first time I was left alone to drive solo was actually um, at a mountain pass. I started driving in mountain passes. I had a fridge on the back and I went through Meerengspoort. And some of the overhangs there are so bad that you miss your fridge by that bad. And you have to go on over the white line and anticipate oncoming traffic. And I was very, very nervous. But as you grow and as you learn and as you learn the safety of the road, your confidence grows and you can realize that you actually can make a difference. If everybody drives the way that they should, we can make a difference. Yeah. <laughs> that I actually learned from my coach. Um, you, are, you form part of traffic. Traffic is not something that you get stuck in. If you feel stuck in it, immediately you get an aggressive attitude about it and you contribute to the problem. Become part of the traffic, let it flow, give someone a chance. It just makes it flow better. You get home, I get home, we all get home safe. Guys, this is not a bucky with a fainter trailer. I need at least a five, 600 meter stopping distance. Please don't do that for my safety and for yours. And unfortunately, many people still do. Fortunately, we have new generation vehicles that, have, that are equipped with safety features. But please, for my safety and yours, don't do that. MAN is very new generation, safety, economics, it's all very important, but it's also very important to take care of their drivers. It's very driver friendly. It makes sure that you, this new generation makes sure that you do not have to have your phone in your hand. You do not have to fiddle with any 20 million buttons to find anything. It's all there and it's easy accessible. It keeps you safe on the road. We have features like lane guard that keeps you, long roads makes you tired. The lane guard warns you. There are so many safety features on this vehicle. This is my baby. I like to drive out of all the trucks I've ever driven. This is my baby. <laughs>